hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl under vivian so in today's video i'll be combing my hair without water without any moisture for the very first time i'll be combing my hair while it is dry i want to really see how it looks like and the amount of shade that we are going to get so do like subscribe turn on your notification button check out my other videos to know what i do on my channel my channel is all about natural hair natural hairstyle products and things you can do to grow your natural hair so let's get right into the video <music> So guys, today's video we are just going to do this like combing our hair for the very first time without no water. I'm really excited to see how it's going to look like. I do part my hair. I always keep my hair into section and so as to avoid freezing. So this video we are just going to do a little bit of chat, talk and see how it's going to look like this my hair is so dry like really dry this is how it looks i'm going to comb it without no water <laughs> i really want to see how my hair looks like you know black hair before combing it you need to always moisturize your hair with water so as to enable you for it to easily comb it so before then let me i think i'm just going to keep my hair into section this will enable me to comb it well. So there are so many things on my hair that I've never done before. I have so many things. I've never combed my hair while it is dry. This is one of them. I've never used heat on my hair. I've never straightened my hair or blow dry. I've never trimmed my ends. I'm almost three years today being natural. So, I don't even know which of the things I'm going to use. The detangling comb or the comb itself. That thing, the detangling comb or brush. So, I'm going to go with this comb because I know how to use this comb for my hair than the brush. So, like, it's easy too to comb your hair, but I feel like using this Afro comb is much more better for me than the detangling brush. Hmm. Right. This is going to be a very rough experience. Combing your hair without keeping it moisture, without moisturizing it, without using water. Let's see how it goes. I undo this my hair, it wasn't, I twisted it, I used, I carried a twist for one week. So I just undo it. And I said, okay, let's do something different. Let's cool my hair without using water. It's always good to use water before combing your natural hair because water helps you to, helps in detangling your hair. That is why when you go to the bathroom, they always say, okay, when you have washed your hair, you have used your shampoo, you have used your conditioner, you comb your hair. That is going to help you. That is going to help you comb it very fast because black hair is very, very strong and difficult in manipulating. We face a lot of difficulties while combing our hair. So doing this now without using water, you know, there are people that, or when you go to the salon, they don't have time to moisturize your hair. They don't really have time to apply water on your hair you just go ahead combing your hair directly so that's what i'm doing today just combing my hair without any like without applying water on it so this is how it looks this is what i won't comb this is what i've combed really really hard this is dangerous combing your hair without water is it the comb side and this i haven't come it yet This 
is a very delicate or dangerous method do not comb your hair <laughs> while it is dry always moisturize it always use water on your hair before you comb sprinkle your hair with your comb have your have your spray bottle around you always i just want to do this and try and see really see how it goes So guys, this is the amount of hair that we have combed while it is dry without no water. This is the remaining section of the hair. So it's very, very, it's very, very difficult. It's really difficult to comb your hair when it is dry. Water really helps. So I think you should never comb your hair why it is dry always apply your moisture your leave in conditioner water to comb your hair better still just use just the water it works extremely well combing your hair why it is dry is very difficult and it's very bad for your hair so this is how my hair looks like after struggling to comb it why it is dry This is difficult, like really difficult. This is how it is. This is the back. This is the back of my hair. This is how my hair looks like. I didn't really commit that much because the amount of breakage and how difficult it is. Look at the amount of okay is the amount of hair i've lost and i've struggled to really commit as much as i can for us to see how it looks like so this is my hair guys thank you for staying with me thank you for being here up to this moment for us to evaluate how it is how difficult it is to comb your hair why it is dry i do not recommend you combing your hair why it is dry always take your time apply water before combing it. even if you don't wash it just use your spray bottle sprinkle water on it before combing it apply your hair straightener or your replacement cream for frizzy hair apply your leave in conditioner just use the different things that you can use but never you comb your hair while it is dry it is so dangerous it is really bad look at the amount of hair that came out and it was really stressful one of the bad thing is that it's so stressful so always take your time apply water before combing your hair see you in my next video bye